I just got out of the shower, so my hair's kind of a mess, but um, I'm going to be making an iced mocha today. So I have frozen coffee in little ice cube things, and then I have some milk, whipped cream, chocolate syrup, and sugar. That's about it. So I'm going to go get that stuff. Here are our, our that's hard to say, here are our ice cubes. Uh, hopefully they'll come out. And then milk and chocolate syrup right here. And here's where I have to go into voiceover mode because my dad started on the phone. Okay, so I have the sugar. And now I got the stuff for the blender. So I'm going to grab a knife and we're going to try to get the ice cubes out. And then obviously they don't come out that way, so there's a better way. Okay, so it's easier if you just, yep, hit it and it comes out because it's water so it doesn't stick it's really nice so once you have all of your coffee ice cubes it's about half of it i had a bunch of extra so i'm going to put them in a ziploc bag and then you're just going to take your milk and i think it's about eight to ten ounces of milk you just want to cover the cubes and then have a little extra so then you take your quarter cup of sugar plop that right on in there and then we're going to set that aside and we're going to prepare our actual cup. So I'm using the Panera cup again just because it kind of looks like a Starbucks cup. Um, you just want to make like, you know, a little circle around with the chocolate syrup so you kind of get it everywhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and move to my whipped cream, which um, I'm doing first because, again, Dad was on the phone, so I didn't really want to use the blender yet because it's very loud. So I decided to make the whipped cream first, which is a little bit loud, but a lot less loud. Okay, so once your whipped cream is ready, you're just going to blend up your stuff because, well, now Dad's off the phone. I had to wait like 15 minutes. It was really annoying. Okay, so now once it's all blended up, there shouldn't be any ice chunks because that's going to make it a really weird texture. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and pour it into your thing. And there we go. You, you want to leave a little space at the top for whipped cream. And then you're just gonna pour in your whipped cream, soft peaks again. Uh, this is a little firmer than the last one, which I like because it gives it a little bit of shape. Um, and then you're just gonna do your chocolate drizzle over the top, make it look kind of cool. And I spilled a ton, but not gonna worry about that. It was in the morning. Um, yeah. But look how good this looks. It looks straight out of Panera, honestly. Um, so now I am going to grab it. I was doing some thumbnail photos over there. That's why it was over there. And you're going to hear me try it because I think Dad's gone by then. Also, that's a really cool quick hair trick. You just kind of take the back and tie it. It only lasts for about five seconds, but it's fine. You can also just use a hair clip. So then I decided that a fork would be a possibly easier way of mixing it. It was not. Uh, so... I moved it onto a paper towel. It's going all over the place. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So I have to take this with me. So, and also I kind of want to shake it up because all the coffee is down here. And then, like, there's whipped cream and milk up here. <laughs> kind of separated. So I'm just going to pour this right back in there. Then there's a lot of chocolate syrup stuff at the bottom of the oven, so ooh, it's messy. I'm gonna pour in some chocolate syrup before I shake okay. it. Here we go. Mm, that's good. It's a good deal less sweet than the frappe, so that's nice. You can actually kind of taste coffee. Yeah. Um, it's still really sweet. It's really good. Okay, so this is fresh. Right, I'm going to go take this with me. Bye.